Hello, so as you can see today's setup is a little different. Firstly, I have no makeup on my face. Also, if my eye looks a bit weird, I just got something in it and it's still quite watery. So let's ignore that. I have no makeup on my face. I have my PJs on. They are Christmas PJs. I know it is not Christmas, but everyone wears Christmas PJs in January, right? So I am having a bit of a bad time on my skin at the moment. I'm quite blemishy. I've got a lot more blemishes than usual and I'm also very dry. So all around my skin is pretty gross. I thought as it's my death work I'm going to do a buttload of face masks and try and sort this face of mine out. So behind me I've got a peel, a load of face masks and of course a cup of tea. Cheers. It's gone a bit cold actually. Be glad about that. So I thought I'd do my face masks on camera and you can see them and I can talk about them. Some of them I've used before, some of them I haven't, so it could be kind of first impressions review type thing. I'm gonna start with the face peel. So this is the Pixie Skin Treats Peel and Polish and I picked this up the other day, I've used it once before but not since. So kind of have an idea about what it does but I've not experimented with it too much. A Radiant Revealing an Enzyme Peel. So, Gonna pop this guy on my face. So with the peel on, um, I've set my timer for two minutes. It feels a little kind of tingly on the skin. I can feel that it's doing something. I can feel that it also exfoliates the skin when you put it on. It kind of feels like a scrub. It does feel tingly. It feels like it's doing something. So my timer is going to go off any minute now. Let's go wash it off. Okay, so I've just taken off the polishing pill from Pixie. Um, my skin feels a bit tingly and tight. My skin also feels very smooth actually. It feels like it's actually made a difference immediately. I don't know whether I'm imagining that. But touching my skin there and it does feel quite smooth. So maybe uh, like immediately kind of got rid of any dead skin cells because it kind of had the scrub element to it. Anyway, my next mask is from The Body Shop. I'm just going to grab it. So this is The Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Clay Mask. I'm not very blemishy, but since I've started my job, I've had a lot more blemishes. I think it's because I'm required to wear a full face of makeup all the time. This should clear up any blemishes. I've used this one a couple of times before and I've actually found it's been really effective. Time to put this guy on my face. So it's green and it smells like minty, like aloe vera maybe? I think there may be aloe vera in it. It's got that kind of, it's got quite a strong scent to it. So, I'm just gonna take some on my finger. Let's pick it up. Okay, so got all over my face, got my timer on. So far, it feels quite tingly and also cooling on my face. Again, you can feel that it's doing something and it's also setting quite fast. It's already beginning to harden. I'm not going to sit in front of the camera for 15 minutes while I wait for it to be ready to go. So, I'm going to go make a cup of tea and I shall be back. Okay, so some time has passed. I've only got a couple of minutes left on this face mask. Um, so I thought I'd just update you on it. Also, Got a new cup of tea, much better than the last one. So the mask is set, feels quite tight on the skin. As it's set, some of it's kind of, I guess, absorbed into the skin, and especially around my blemishes, there seems to be less mask there, although I think I applied it over them pretty evenly. Um, it still smells quite aloe vera y. Aloe, aloe vera? It still smells of aloe vera. I thought the smell might fade but it has slightly but not much 
And yeah, it feels quite tight on the skin. Again, feels like it's doing something. So, I've got two minutes to go. Okay, so that mask is off. Um, my skin again feels quite smooth. I don't know if that's from the last one because I don't think that one really would move out the skin much. My skin feels very fresh now as well. So next mask I have is from Lush and it's one of their fresh masks so you're supposed to keep it in the fridge. So it's from Lush, it's called Love Letters, it's a fresh face mask. It says, effective exfoliating face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow. My skin's actually quite dry, I probably should have read this before I bought it. Although I've used this before and I do like what it does to my skin so... Maybe that's not an issue. Let's look at the instructions on this one. Um, how to use. Take it out of the fridge, apply a genu generous layer all over the face, avoiding eyes, leave on for five to 10 minutes, then gently scrub with warm water to leave your skin feeling fresh and exfoliated. So let's put this on my face. Firstly, I don't really like the scent of this mask. It smells very lettucey. I know the mask is called Love Lettuce, but oh, yeah, because it's a quite strong smell and I don't really enjoy the scent, but it's, it's bearable. The mask is very bitty. It feels very, you can tell it's a natural mask when you put it on, like, I don't know, it feels like someone's mushed up a load of plants and stuck them on my face kind of thing, but it's okay. And it does feel quite fresh, even though I took it out of the fridge a bit before I should have. So, I'm gonna put on my timer. So, this one was 10 minutes. So, while I've got 10 minutes to kill, I'm gonna sit on my bed with my laptop and watch a bit of the Anna edit because she uploaded the video earlier and I haven't watched it yet and I really want to. So, I'm gonna do that. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so we've only got a couple of minutes to go on the Lush Mask, so I paused the video I was watching, also the Anna Edits Disney vlog, oh my god I'm like a few minutes into it and I'm blooming love it already, such a good vlog, makes me want to go back to Disney so much. I'll link it below actually, um, because it's really good, and yeah, I love Anna. Yeah, got distracted then. Um, only got a few minutes left to go of this mask, so um, I just thought I'd give you a little update. So it's gone kind of hard on the face again, my skin feels tight again, um, it feels quite crusty in this mask, I know that sounds a bit gross but I think because of all the like bits in it, whereas the Lush one kind, not the Lush one, the Body Shop one kind of sat flat on my skin, this one's like really bitty and a bit like Bitty. Yeah, it's bitty. My skin feels quite tight and feels like it's doing something. Again, some areas there's more masks left than others. I don't know what it means when masks do that, but it definitely looks different in different areas of my face. That's that. So we're going to wash it off in a second. I'm going to wash off this mask after this one. I've only got two to go. They're both sheet masks, so they'll be a little bit different. Timer done. So that last mask felt quite scrub like again taking it off, I think because of all the bits in it. But it felt like it is done something and my skin feels quite fresh now. So I think I like that mask. It's quite hard to wash off because there were so many like little bits in it that I felt like every time I washed it there were still like little bits on my face. I've probably got some on my face right now. But oh well. Also another thing to note is a few of my blemishes, it's a bit gross, but I guess the reason I'm doing this is to talk about what the mask has done. A few of my blemishes have come to the surface. They're obviously doing something to my skin. Next I've got a sheet mask, I've never used this one before. I basically brought it because I thought it looked really bloody cute. Probably a bad reason to buy a mask, but you know, that's, that's how I roll. So this is the Catnip Face Ink by Nails Ink Mask. This brightening sheet mask, uh, 
for normal to dry skin. Enriched with green tea and biotonic root extracts to balance, restore, moisturize and cleanse. Sounds, sounds, sounds like a pretty, pretty good deal. I'm going to set my timer then and get back to watching Anna. So I said no need to wash this but there's quite a lot of residue left on my skin so have I just got to massage it in? Oh, I feel like I need to wash it off. So I've had that last one for 10 minutes. I've just taken it off. I feel like there is quite a lot of residue left on my skin, but I'm hoping it will just sink into my skin. I really like that mask. It was a sheet mask, so I find like, really you need hair which isn't clean because you get the yuck in your hair. So my hair feels a bit minging now. But I really liked it. One, it had a cat in it, and I love cats. Two, it actually fitted quite nicely there. I had a bit of a gap around my chin, but it was easy to put on. Usually I find with sheet masks, they can look like they're a bit hard to actually get to put on how they should go on. Like they usually just to like, you have to just shove them on your skin however you can get them to fit better. I actually went on fairly easily. Felt really moisturising, kind of hardened towards the end, but not too much. Especially around like the bottom of my face, I can feel the difference. It's left kind of a sticky residue, which is feels quite cool. Um, and moisturising, it did feel like that really gave my skin a lot of moisture. So I really liked that mask actually. I didn't think it was the cheapest. I got a feeling it was like four pounds or something for one mask. So it is a lot, but. I liked using it, I feel like it's made a difference, but I'm obviously not 100% sure, I've only really just taken it off, but I did enjoy it and for a sheet mask it was comfortable to wear. I have one mask left, my skin is going to be loving life, actually my skin might hate life after this, it might go into overdrive a bit because I put so much on it, but I just felt like it was so gross that I needed to just do as much as I can to sort it out. So, I've got one mask left, let me get it. It's another sheet mask, I've used this before. It's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. Let's unfold this. I hate unfolding sheet masks, I think it's really, I always panic, am I gonna break it? Not that it would really matter if you did, I guess. So white goes onto my skin. Oh, I was wrong, I thought this was in two parts, but it's not. So it goes like this. I have never looked hotter. Well, this is a bit like hard to get on as you need it. I can't even speak. Okay, this mask is definitely a worse fit. But I'm gonna set my timer. <laughs> oh, that one up my nose. Set my timer for 15 minutes. I think I'll read my book this time. So it is a few days later and I have come to edit this video and I have realized that for some reason I don't have an end clip. Um, I filmed one but I obviously didn't actually click record or something so I'm just gonna end the video as you can see I've got makeup on now so it's a bit harder to see what my skin's actually looking like but it's definitely looking better so I think the mask did make a difference blemish wise um everything kind of 
cleared up pretty soon after. My skin's still quite dry but I do think all of the sheet masks especially like helped give it a surge of moisture that I needed and it's definitely nowhere near as dry as it was. So overall I'm pretty happy with all of them. I love the sheet mask from Nails Inc, the cat one. I love the body shop um, mask I used because I think it really makes a difference. Every time I've used it I've noticed my blemishes have cleared up soon afterwards. None of the masks were disappointing at all so I liked them all. So that is that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please like the video um, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. I'd love to hear your thoughts or any masks that you'd recommend and I will see you next week. Bye!